welcome. Check it out. You're in the house of genre with Indianapolis Online Community Magazine, what we call the underground music box. We're glad you're here. We want to start out by uh, just thanking our audience and our, our viewers for all the wonderful hits we've been getting. It's exciting. We've got a lot for you to see, a lot of different genres being represented, a lot of new artists and upcoming artists. You need to check it out. If you haven't been online and kind of shopped around our website, please check it out. We have two sides, so there's a lot to see. Uh, I am here today with uh, Mr. Paul Logan. He is a recording artist, a singer, songwriter, producer, and I know him as an awesome bassist. So he plays for many groups, and uh, we're honored and glad to have him in the House of Genre tonight. What's up, Paul? What's going on? Oh, man, I'm good, man. I'm good. Excited to have you in here. Good, man. I want to start out for a lot of our viewers and just talk about uh, you got a new project out, and I will go on record to say. It is slamming with a capital S. If you haven't heard it, to me, it's one of the best projects of the year. No doubt about it. I mean, I'm a critic, and I hear a lot of stuff, but it's really, really good. And I just want to congratulate you on that, first so, of all. Yeah. Why don't you tell them a little bit about the project right up front? Well, the project is a labor of love. Um, it, it's just a chance for me to put all of my feelings down on mm -hmm. wax, as we say. <laughs> um, every song is from my real life. Um, okay. There, there's not a track on there that I haven't lived. So, it's my, it's my heart and soul <laughs> on this record. Well, that's an interesting point because, as you know, we're both writers, and, and a lot of times there are those tunes that we write that are not necessarily autobiographical, if you want to think of it that way. It's not about me. I can write about other things that I see, but you just mentioned that all these tracks are from natural, actual experiences. Okay. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, of course, uh, the title of the record is A King's Heart. <laughs> sing one. So, uh, <laughs> sing one. Yeah, sing one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, there's nine parts left. You can imagine. Uh, yeah. We'll go along with someone's heart. There's the ups and downs and the mm -hmm. in-betweens and, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> you know, you throw God in there, you know, you throw your love in there. Your, your family in there, it's all in there. So it, it's, it's just a chance to really show what a king can go through. Wow. So. Well, it's a hot project. I know um, there's several songs on there that move me. Um, I like to start again a lot. Um, that kind of talks about you rekindling and kind of woulda, coulda, shoulda. <laughs> <laughs> coulda, shoulda. <laughs> uh, tell me about how you got started. You got a lot of young fans out there, like my daughter. And my daughter basically grilled me on the way to this interview and said, ask him this, ask him that. And they were great questions. Like, how'd you get started vocally, especially? Vocally, well, I, I grew up in a musical household. Okay. Uh, my, my mom sang, my dad played the board. Mm -hmm. um, he's also a pastor as well. Um, so I grew up in the church having to sing. And, you know, they're throwing me up there. <laughs> you know how that goes. Seven days a week. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, it got to a point where people were saying that I should record something, that I should be put on a CD, or I should get a record deal, or they would hear somebody um, singing and say, well, you sing as good as them, or you sound like them, we should, we should have a CD out there. And uh, one day I really started to believe it. So, when was that? I think I was about 12 years old. Mm. About 12 years old, I started to really want to, to be a superstar. Babyface uh, was my inspiration when it came to writing. Mm -hmm. Brian McKnight, uh, Sea of Wonder, they were my inspirations. Diane Hathaway when it came to singing. So I just wanted to be like them and um, trying to work with different people and trying to get something out became real tedious. Mm -hmm. Nobody seemed to really be about anything, you know. So finally I decided to just step out on my own and see if I could work something out. On your project, or you, you mentioned sort of being born out of experience, I can relate to that. Sometimes when people don't understand your ideas, you gotta, you gotta bring it yourself. Um, on the project, how many people are you working with on the project? It's just me. Say it again? It's just me. What about all those other people on the project? Well, you know, uh, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'm waiting to know of that because when you hear the CD, it, it has a very old school flavor that I noticed. And I was, a lot of times when artists come in the house of genre, the underground music box, 
we don't get to uh, the opportunity to hear the music sometimes before we've already interviewed them, and then we find out about them. Well, this particular time, I've, I've kind of slept with this project, so I, I, it's become more personal to me, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit, but I noticed that uh, you mentioned Donny Hathaway. You sound, to me, a lot like Donny Hathaway on this, and I'm, I'm going back a little old school for some of our younger viewers, but uh, Donny Hathaway was an excellent R&B vocalist who could do it all with a extremely wide range. So I, I would suggest picking up this project. How could they uh, even find this project if they want to hear it? We're sitting here talking about it so much. Well, I'm on a, a few sites. I'm on Napster. I'm on uh, CDBaby.com. Uh, I'm also on iTunes. Under what? Um, go on iTunes, search Logan. That's, mm -hmm. that's uh, my name, Logan. But King's Heart, scene one. Um, CD Baby under the same thing. Um, Napster under the same thing. I think I'm on a few other sites on that. They're, it's all over the place. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you most importantly want people or the viewers out there to know about your music and about who you are as a person? Oh, um, well, I like to call this life music. Um, if you have to fit it in a genre, it can be R&B and soul, but really, it, it's about life. It, it's mm. real music about real life. Um, a real musician doing real music. Um, it's not all computers and and synthesizer generated stuff. It, it's it's real. It's it's from the mind of a real musician. Someone who studied music, who knows music, who's living music, who loves music. Um, that's what my music is about. It's just about being real and about finding um, what's really in your heart and putting it down so everybody can hear it and experience it. Awesome. Now I talked about briefly uh, that you are a musician. I actually, uh, who are some of the people that you've notably uh, met and played with? Wow. Um, Just drop me some names. Dorinda Clark Cole on the gospel side. Um, I worked in the studio with Fred Hammond. I've mm -hmm. done studio work with Lamar Campbell, mm -hmm. uh, Ronnie Bryant locally here. Um, and a few. Uh, Did you ever work with me? <laughs> you know, my most noble. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> that was the wrong thing to say. That's kind of a funny story, though, that um, one of the first times that I met Logan was probably when he's either, I don't know, maybe 16? Probably 15 or 16 years old, and we're not giving away time. It, it, it was just a, a few days ago. <laughs> but uh, I uh, had the opportunity to go in and, and actually produce uh, something with you and a couple other well-known uh, good songwriters and talents, and I was impressed. The first time I heard you, I was like, wow, this vocals are like running like water. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> shut the faucet off. Right. And uh, I knew then that you were going to go on to do some great things. and. Um, I'm very proud to have you in the underground music box in the House of Genre, and we're excited about what your project's going to do. I really, really want to make an appeal to everybody to go out. Please, go to Loganology.com. He mentioned Napster. What else can we throw in there? iTunes. iTunes. He's a, he's a big download guy. He likes for you to download that music. Um, check him out. You can go on Loganology.com and check out uh, two or three selections. And it's nice. It's very nice. Uh, it's it's big boy ball. So if you've been listening to a lot of the silly music out there and you're just getting tired of synthesizers and all the silliness, this is what you want to see. And um, man, anything else you want to say here before we uh, wrap this one up? I just want to thank you for the opportunity, man. Well, man, we're glad to have you in the box, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing this again and more great things. I think you're an inspiration to a lot of our viewers. And a lot of our younger artists, he's doing it the right way. And I want to say that and make sure that everyone knows that. I appreciate you. I love you. And you're my brother, my friend. And uh, I wish you great things. And, uh, with that, we just want to sign off. Uh, in the Underground Music Box, it's B Squared, your host with Indianapolis Online Community Magazine. Check us out. Peace.